Welcome to Tech Bytes, your hub for quick and easy tech episodes. Today we're exploring Angular, the JavaScript gem loved by developers worldwide. Let's dive in. First, let's understand what is Angular. Angular, created by Google, is a well-known open-source web framework appreciated for its component-based structure and strong TypeScript support. Now let's see who commonly uses Angular. There are many types of developers who use Angular, including web developers and full-stack developers. Now let's move towards Angular's advantages for web development. It provides component-based design and promotes reusability, gives strong support for TypeScript, it emphasizes on modular architecture, provides built-in support for reactive programming, maintain the robust ecosystem and tools. Now let's move on to the installation part of the process. Installing Angular is very similar across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems. For optimal results, adhere to your system's specific instruction. In the first step, we will install Node.js and Node Package Manager. In order to install Angular, you must have Node.js and NPM Node Package Manager installed on your computer. If you have not already installed them, please follow the instructions in our video on how to install Node.js S. You can watch the video by clicking on the I button located on the right side of the screen or by referring to the description. The second step is to install Angular CLI globally. Open the command prompt and run the following command to install the Angular CLI globally on your system. Type this command in your CMD. npm install G Angular CLI. This command installs the latest stable version of Angular CLI system-wide for your use. The third step is to run the Angular CLI command. The Angular CLI allows you to manage your Angular projects once it has been installed. Run the following command in the command prompt to verify that the installation was successful. NG version. This command displays the installed Angular CLI version and environment detail. The ng serve command provides additional options including the open flag, which triggers the automatic opening of your compiled application in a web browser. The fourth step is to create an initial workspace for the application. To begin the installation process, create a new folder and click on the file path. Type CMD and press enter. You will be taken to the command prompt. To create a new Angular application, you must first establish a workspace, which contains the necessary configuration files and source code for your project. In the command prompt, run the following command to create a new workspace, replacing my app with the name of your application, ng new my app. In this command, a new directory with the specified name is created, the necessary configuration files are set up, and an initial Angular application is generated within the workspace. Once you have typed this command, press enter. It will ask you to select the stylesheet format, just leave it at default and press enter. Next, it will ask you to install SSR, Press I for yes and press enter. It may take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. The fifth step is to run the Angular application in your browser. Using the cd command, navigate to the newly created directory where your new Angular application will be tested. cd my app. Run the following command to start the development server. ng serve. The following command compiles your Angular application and starts a development server. Press E for yes and enter. The server runs on port 4200 by default. Navigate to HTTP, localhost 4200 using your preferred web browser. Your new Angular application should appear in the browser. Well done. Your first Angular application has been successfully installed on your Windows computer. Thank you for joining us on TechBite. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, happy coding.